Angela's Baroness. Now, uh, David, last night we talked about all sorts of things to do with two because it was the start of the second series. That's right. But tonight we've got two pieces. <laughs> we do, in fact. Uh, this is uh, that beautiful word, bikini. Um, and there was the Paris Fashion Show in 1946. And there was a gentleman called Louis, Louis Rayard. Now, amazingly, this guy was a car engineer. So what's he doing in a bikini show? <laughs> he probably wanted to get a, a backstage pass. He ran his mother's lingerie shop, I understand, and from this inspiration came up with this skimpy outfit that was quite outrageous. Where did this bikini name come from? Because it coincided with atomic tests that were taking place in the Marshall Islands, and specifically on the Bikini Atoll. And it has that beautiful coincidence that sometimes language provides you because it starts with B-I, which suggests two, and it was explosive, and it also was very skimpy, like the atom. So the two events conflated to become this one word that identified this uh, most revealing swimming costume. That is absolutely fa So really there was actually this, this link between the atomic explosion and the swimming costume? A very close and complex link. And in fact, from the uh, bikini, we now have the monokini, which is just the one piece. And we have the tankini, which incorporates a tank top. Although I have heard uh, that uh, you've been seen down on the beach uh, wearing a, a mankini. <laughs> you know. I mean, it suited, it suited Borat particularly well. I, I'm, I'm sure it would have been just your style. If you're uh, at home eating, uh, his name is Richard Moorcroft. I didn't bring up that line, but uh, I will deny that rumour. <laughs> Thank you, David. Great words. Let's have a look at the scores before we move on. Jason's on six. Raf is on 22. More letters now. And uh, Raf, you to choose, please. Uh, I think I'll start with the consonant, please, Lily. Thanks, Raf. Starting with L. And the vowel? E. Another vowel, please. O. Consonant? T. And another consonant? D. Vowel? Another E. And another? A. A consonant, please. B. And I'll finish with a consonant. And last letter, G. 30 seconds, start now. Very thoughtful there, Raf. What did you come up with? Uh, seven. Seven for you. Very nice, Jason. Seven as well. Okay. Let's start with yours uh, first, Raf. I had bloated. And yours, Jason? Belated. Two nice words, David. Lovely words. Uh, both fine, of course, for seven and uh, bleated uh, being another possible seven. But well played. So terrific scores for both Jason and Raf. Seven points. So with two great words in that last round, let's see what we can do with some more letters. And uh, this time, Jason, what would you like? Uh, can I get a consonant to begin with? Thanks, Lily. Thanks, Jason. D. And another consonant? Q. And a vowel? U. <laughs> and a vowel? Another U. <laughs> a consonant? N. Consonant? F. Uh, a vowel? E. Another vowel. A. And a final consonant, please. And last letter, K. Thank you, Lily. Time starts now. Jason, no shortage of uh, U's after that Q, but uh, how did you go? Uh, I got a six. And what about you, Raf? Six as well for me. Let's start with your six, Raf. Funked. And Jason? Quaked. 
quaked and funked. <laughs> funked is an interesting one. I mean, uh, do we um, are we happy with that, David? Yeah, we are happy. Um, well, I'm particularly happy because this dictionary is happy. Uh, funk is uh, an up-tempo style of music, but importantly, it is also uh, a verb meaning to frighten or to uh, to intimidate. So funked is perfectly fine. Well played, Raf. And quaked. Meanwhile, a wonderful uh, six from uh, Jason, and I feel like giving him a bonus point for using the cue, but apparently I'm not allowed to do that. So, <laughs> great sixes. No bonus points. Did you, did you find anything special? No, I wish fun quaked was a word, but it's not. So, the sixes were the best. So, great performances from Jason and Raf, six points each. Let's head back to the numbers again now for uh, our second numbers game of the night, and uh, Raf, what would you like this time? Uh, can I have one large and five small? One large and five small. Thanks, Raf. And our numbers are three, nine, four, six, and seven. And the large number is 25. And the target to reach is 760. Thanks, Lily. And 30 seconds to get there. find the previous numbers too hard. How did you go with that one? I found the answer. You've got the answer. Spot on target. Well done, Jason. I didn't even come close. Not that time. Okay. Raf, please take us through your method. Okay, I started with 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. Yeah, times 6 is 30. Times the 6 is 30. Times 25 is 750. By 25 is 750. Plus the 3... And plus the seven. Plus the three and the seven is 760. Takes you straight to the target. Very nice work indeed, Raf. Uh, that was very impressive, wasn't it, Lily? That was a great solution and it was an easy problem, so well done, Raf. So a big ten points to Raf and that means the scores now. Jason on 19, Raf establishing a strong lead on 45. We're heading for a short break and another word mix for you. Stair ski. And this time the clue is... Stellar punctuation. Back in a while.